welcome back to Red River Living today. Today we are installing the gate. Um, we are seeing the need for more pasture. In order to have more pasture, we got to get fence up that we've taken down. So we are working hard to get posts in the ground. Going to have somebody come out and do some welding tomorrow for us. Grind on this a little bit here and then weld it to it, it'll give it a good look, I think. But how do it look on that? They don't make that. Do they? poured a little water in the hole, added our concrete, and now we're gonna add just a little bit more water to it. It should set up overnight. We're gonna fix the lineup for our next post to make our H width, and we're gonna be about eight feet apart here. And then we'll put us a cripple to the ground after that. So we have a water line that runs down the inside of this fence. And as I was digging, I bumped something. So we stopped through what we were hitting and we are actually hitting barbed wire. This fence line, there's been so much wind erosion over the years that this barbed wire is about 12 to 18 inches down the ground to give you an idea of how much dirt can accumulate on your fence lines. about perfect but we're going to check it with the level just to make sure all right so we've got two levels on it and um, we're going to check that to get our pole level and then I'm pulling a string line off our original H past these two green poles to kind of keep us lined up so our gate will be lined up in the end All right, we're gonna add a little water and then we'll add some concrete and a little water after that. doing right now is we had some pipe given to us and um, we're just repurposing it for the gate right now and we're fixing to put in our dead man and just kind of measure off with this piece of pipe so we get it in the right spot. All 
right, tomorrow we'll be ready for our welder to show up and he'll tie everything together and make it match the other side. So it's been a couple days since we got the pipe and the concrete. Today we got a welder out and um, he's welding up our H to match the other side. Once he is done welding, we'll pull fence, hang the gate, and the cows will be released into a new pasture. So the welder, welder finished today. Start over. Crap. <laughs> so the welder finished. We got the gate hung and me and my father-in-law are pulling wire. Well, we've um, pulled our wire tight, we've cut it. And now we're going to loop it around our pole here um, before we stretch our next set. is we pulled this fence down and then strung the wire back on itself but this is where we got the field dirt for around our houses and everything which was a huge benefit to me because I think we had like 14 loads of dirt or something hauled into the house from right here off this hillside which kind of helped Keely with her view back here. on a t-post and then we're going to come back and get all the clips in and we'll be finished with this part of our fencing for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. See y'all next time. See y'all next time.